Can I ask you a question? Uh, we reveal big news on the podcast, which is that you are pregnant with twins. Yeah. And you, you talked about it on the podcast. Has anyone heard about it through the podcast who, who didn't know in your immediate circle? Or did you manage to get to everyone first? Because I would think that would be socially awkward if, say, your mom heard it on the podcast, <laughs> but you hadn't told her. Or tack. Yeah, or, or, yeah, or your husband, Tack. <laughs> <laughs> He's driving on the freeway, listening to the butt, He's catching like, up. What? And he drives into a barn. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, there were a few people we forgot to tell. And that's how we found out. They texted us and they're like, you're pregnant with twins? And you didn't tell us? Well, this is a good way to find out who listens to the podcast. I know. Who really listens. Well, And also, I mean, they listen because they're, they're my friends and they care about me. Also, I guess they're <laughs> fans of Conan's, whatever. Maybe. Yeah, let's get some, I'm sorry. Let's do a quick correction there. <laughs> They can call you anytime, <laughs> but if they want the pure liquid comedy gold, they've got to come to the fountain of what? said gold, Conan O'Brien. Uh, and you play a part. You're there with your ladle. And, um, and Gorley, you're there with your little cup to get some of the liquid gold and splash it around. But Just a little thimble. A little thimble. But uh, yeah, that's why your friends are tuning in. You think my friends are tuning in because of you instead of me? Yes. Yes, I do. I, I think they can talk to you anytime. But they're like, oh my God, is he on that podcast with you? My God, 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 God. <laughs> and then they listen and then they hear you too. And then they find out that you're pregnant and they, called it, they call you. Anyway, that anyway, was- this is a fun. Brief look into my mind. Yep. Sona, hmm. how's it all going? Uh, how's your mom handling this news? She- uh, has been uh, waiting, uh, you know, I mean, I've known you for many years and for years she wanted you to get married. Yeah. I mean, to the point where it was like, just anybody, you know? Um, okay, calm down. It wasn't that bad. It was just, she, you know, she was getting a little restless, but she wasn't like anything you bring home, just marry it. You and I did a segment in Armenia where I took you to uh, a woman who, matched Armenian men with women. Did you not? Yes, we did. And you seriously considered some of those men and many of them were no, in I their- No, I didn't! They were in their 60s. Oh my God. <laughs> they were all like, and also I think that they, I think matchmaking is, is looked down upon in Armenia. And so they had all either gone to prison Yes. Had like five kids. You remember that woman? You can probably look up this segment online, but I took Sona to this little house in Armenia, in uh, and this woman was showing you people. And every time we, and she'd show us a picture, and it was um, this guy who maybe was, I want to say, conservatively 65 or 70. <laughs> yes. And looked like he had been in a fight and lost <laughs> uh. multiple times. Oh. And then she would say, I like this guy's good. This guy's good. Now there is a problem. <laughs> she would always say there is a problem. And we would go, what? And then they would she would talk about he was in prison. <laughs> for what? Well, this is the best part. We I had followed up and I said, in prison for what? And she said, I can't remember. He was eating with somebody and they had an argument and he stabbed him with his fork. <laughs> And I'm looking at this guy who looks like a pirate long after the ship went down. <laughs> and he stabbed someone at a meal who was his friend. So watch what you say uh, <laughs> at the wedding dinner to this guy. Oh my God. So anyway, no, I, I'm, I, I jest, but you married this, uh, the perfect guy. Yeah, I did. Tack. I can never remember his last name, so I just add an easy into his first name, which is Tack Tachesian. Yes, it's which is not his name, but yeah, Tack mm, Yeah, Tachesian. Yeah, um, that, that's not how Armenian names work. You don't just add an e in at the end of their first name. That's well, they all have an e in at the end of their last name, right? They they do, but it's not. I'm like... suggesting to the Armenian people, lose the middleman, just add an e in to the back of your first name, so it's Tack Tachesian. Just I'd be Sona Sonian. Yeah. No, that's Sona Sonian. It doesn't make sense. I'd that's be Conan no stupid. Conan Coninian. <laughs> Conan Conanian. Yeah, you could pass for Armenian. You could, with that complexion and <laughs> that, that hair. Yeah. I could be 
an Armenian man <laughs> who's very ill. It's <laughs> <That's> very ill. <laughs> and then I go on that website that that woman has. <laughs>